Welcome back everyone. In this session, we are going to set up a local SQL server to serve as a playground for your Power BI desktop. Now the problem uh, for most people is that when they're first starting to learn Power BI is the lack of data. Or when they do have data, usually they store in a CSV file or Excel file without any relationship at all between tables. And to step up to go into a more intermediate or advanced level or understanding of how to do data analytics or visualization, you need to know how to work with a fairly complicated uh, database, one whereby it's com connecting tables to tables, foreign key, primary key, and all of those. And with that, we need to work with a proper enterprise level database, which is one that we will make use of in this lesson. The other problem that you have is that these database, a proper one, especially if you are playing with your own company's one is actually sitting in a cloud somewhere, you don't really want to actually learn while inter interacting uh, with the company based uh, database because there's obviously a lot of confidential information. The last thing you want to do is to delete it and make any uh, mistakes on it. It will not be desirable. Hence, it's good to actually play with one locally so that you can actually learn from it and before you move on to a real database. So in this session, what we're going to do is that we'll teach you and walk you through how to set up your own local database server and making use of the SQL Server Management Studio, which is really a GUI uh, you know, interface for you to interact with the actual server itself. And for that, we're going to park a sample database, which is the Adventure Work sample database, which is really uh, a very, very comprehensive database followed by installing the Power BI desktop. And finally, the most important part is to connect the database uh, to the database from Power BI. With that, let's get started. Here you can find all the resources. You might want to pause the screen to access them. All right, we'll start with downloading the SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS for short. Once you actually uh, select and downloaded it and start the installation process, uh, as you can see on the screen, select the relevant location you want to install it, but do take note of it. This installation process does take a while. What we usually do is that when you're actually downloading this uh, or installing this, we shift over to downloading the SQL 2019 Express server. While that's downloading the background, we we'll wait for the installation of the SSMS. Uh, as soon as that is done, then we can actually proceed to the installation of the SQL 2019 Express server. Now that is done, with the, the downloading is also done as well. Uh, we can click that, that we download and start the actual installation process. As you can see here, we just choose the basic version. Uh, there isn't really any need to customize or do anything more than that. Once again, select the location that you want to install yours and let it run in the background. While that is running in the background, we can proceed to downloading Power BI Desktop. Right, um, again, as I mentioned before, all of these links uh, you can access uh, from the previous screen that you can pause earlier so that you can view uh, where to actually download this location. Uh, on the Power BI desktop, uh, choose the version that's relevant for your uh, operating system and also one that you think is relevant uh, and wait for it uh, to be finished uh, to download completely. In the meantime, though, uh, check out the SQL Express, um, see how the download is uh, going. I will ex speed up this um, uh, installation. Uh, in the meantime, we will, to save time, we will proceed to downloading the Adventure Works database. As you can see here, uh, we can actually download this. It's provided by Microsoft. Uh, we will make use of the OLTP 2019 backup version. That once again, download that, and as that is downloading in the background, go back to our Express Edition installation to check on the progress. Once that is done, do take note of uh, all the details. Uh, we can close that all off now and have a look at our uh, Power BI and start the Power BI installation process. And that doesn't take very long. Um, once again, uh, make sure you know where you are installing your Power BI desktop so that you can access it uh, later. Having done all of the necessary installation, the next step then is to actually launch the SSM 
as um, the management studio uh, which is a GUI makes it easier for you to interact with the server itself so while that is actually being fired up um, we will just wait for a little bit uh, because um, there are a few more steps that we need to do um, so this is actually turned on now so what you need to do uh, is to actually uh, open up the local server go to the actual uh, location of the server as you can see there double click on that uh, to open up all the configuration now there's no use double clicking right now we will want to actually copy the downloaded adventure works database uh, to the location of our server so open up the backup folder as you can see on screen here and look at your download folder drag the backup file over to the backup folder of your SQL 2019 Express folder. Now come back to the SSMS, double click on it to open that up and uh, re select Restore Database. Right click and click Restore Database. Locate the location of your file, click Add, click the backup file uh, that you copy over earlier. This is the location of where I parked it. Uh, yours might be a bit different and click OK so that the actual restoration of the backup file uh, is started and be restored to, to your local server. Check all the details are correct and click OK and let the process get started. Right, um, having done all of these right now, uh, you can see that uh, all the tables are there. We can switch over to our Power BI and look to connect it uh, from Power BI to this local database. Now, where do you actually get the server details? Uh, while your SSMS is open, you can see that. Just copy that across, uh, then Power BI Desktop will do the rest of the necessary connecting at the back end for you. Uh, that makes life a lot easier. Click OK, and we'll wait for the Power BI Desktop to actually connect it. As you can see here, it recognized that there is a database there and what you can see once you click the drop down, there are all the tables associated with it. We'll check on the person one just to see and also the some of the associated tables and do a quick glance. And then once we click uh, transform, you can see that the, these are around eight or nine tables that we've uploaded. Click through them just to make sure there are no major errors. Uh, if you're not familiar with the database, it's okay. This is just really for you to get started. And um, click the load and wait for the loading to finish. And you can see that on the right side, on the fields, all the tables have been loaded. So the next step now is to actually go to your data view and check through all of them. And if you click the relational view or the model view, you can see all the connection has been connected for you. In future lessons, what we will do is that we'll start to play around with them. Uh, in the meantime, though, I appreciate that we've done everything that we set out to do. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.